Hello. Thank you for always stopping by. I really do appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please, if you haven't subscribed, could you please kindly click the right subscribe button? If you have subscribed, Gloria Chizzy O is saying thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for always stopping by. So today I want us to talk about some new month um, spiritual exercise, some new month, um, I call it um, ritual. Ritual is the process of doing something. Please, it's not, um, <laughs> it's not money ritual or evil ritual. You understand? So there's a couple of things you should do at the end of every month prayerfully and at the beginning of um, each new month. Now, these are some videos that has been working to the glory of God. So, regardless of whenever you find this video in a month, you can still go ahead and use these videos. But it would be nice if you can do it every new month from the 1st to the 10th of every new month. And I tell you, by the grace of God, you are going to smile. The first thing you should do at the last um, days, let's say three days or the last day of every month is to cleanse yourself. Cleanse yourself to let out um, negativity of that month in order not for it to follow you into the new month. How do you cleanse yourself? The number one way you can cleanse yourself, even if you don't have some materials handy, is always is to always add salt into your bath water and pray into it. Speak favor, speak goodness, speak everything. Um, sorry, please forgive me. Is to add salt into your water. That is, if you are doing it for the cleansing and last day of the month, is to speak out the negativity, the evils you don't want, the bad things you don't want out of your life. This, that, that, that. You understand then again you can use them um, get a couple of bitter leaf cook it squeeze it extract the water add it in a bucket of water add some salt use it to have a cleansing bath to cleanse out whatever um evil mark blockages failure hatred promise and fail and all that now permit me to di um, divert a little yesterday or two days ago i shared a testimony of a lady actually is my product she used but that testimony taught me another thing about life she said her boss is it um the md ceo of whatever where where she works never liked her like he so much hates her he doesn't hide it he speaks it this that he doesn't just like her everything she does her job he condemns it until she bought the cost breaker and cleansing soap and used it after which her testimony is on the community if you can go down a little you will see it after which the boss changed towards her, began to praise her. Why am I telling you this? Accumulated negative energies make people to hate you, make people to dislike you, and you think they just hate you. It's not their fault. It's not their doing. The problem is from you. So you need to always cleanse yourself to let out, uh, let out those energies and leave yourself open for favor, for goodness, and all that. Another way you can cleanse yourself you that you don't need to go to the market to buy is um, using um, your early money you write. I cannot stop talking about early money you write because I know you don't buy it and it's very, very, very effective. Believe me, it can remove um, any spiritual bondage by the grace of God, please. All you need to do is get your early money you write. Add some salt to it, pray into it, ask God to use it to remove every bondage, every hindrance, every this uh, that's, that is coming, that you may have accumulated with this month, for example, so that you don't go into the new month with it. I will tell you things you can do for a new month, you understand? So that you don't go into a new month with it, that, 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 use it to bed for three days. Now, some people say it's too small. No, it's not water. Even if this content, even if the size is like this. Even if the size is like this thing, it will serve. It will do. All you need to do is if your head permits you, your hair permits you, pour it from your hair. You are speaking, you are praying, you are rubbing it on yourself, rubbing it on yourself. You understand? You are allow it to stay on you for some minutes. And once it's like five to ten minutes, you can go ahead. Do this when you want to have your bed in the morning or anytime you're doing it. Then you can go ahead and wash it off. That's have your bed wash it off. Now, another way you can cleanse yourself for the old month um, energy is by boiling bitter leaf and scent leaf together. 
pray into it, use it to bat, ask God to remove anything that needs to be removed out of your life that brings you blockages, this, this, this. You understand? Then another way you can use it, um, have a cleansing bath is by using um, cinnamon and bay leaf. Boil cinnamon and bay leaf, pray into it, um, add some salt to the water and ask God if there's anything. One thing with cinnamon and bay leaf is they remove and they draw. So it, it has to do with your intention again. Your intention is your spoken words. You understand? You pray and speak. Ask God to use it to remove whatever needs to be removed out of your life. It, it, so that it does not go into the new month with you. This, that, 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 that. You understand? Now, these are but a few ways I want you to do a cleansing bath. Then again, I want to drop a video in the comment section. Everyone will get, everyone has this item in their home. Everyone. There's no one that doesn't have it. So I'm going to drop this video. I am going to title it Cleansing. Watch this video and then go ahead and use this method. Even if it's once the last day of the month or three days before the month ends, you can do it, please. It's very, very good and important. I will also drop another one titled it Blessing. Cleansing and Blessing. That one, please watch it. I posted it, that video two days ago. And to the glory of God, I have already started getting testimony from it. I have even benefited because she sent me airtime. Her brother remembered her and sent her money. You understand? Those are natural things. They are not juju. With your belief, prayer, and faith, it will work for you. So these two videos, cleansing and blessing, will be in the comment section. Do well to watch them and use them. Thank you. So let's go into what you can do for the new month to attract blessing, to attract goodness. In the new month, if you can always also drop salt in your bath water and pray that it brings you goodness, favor, good tidings, you understand. If you are into a business, you can take some sprinkle in your business arena. You can also use some mob your home to remove negative energy. Get salt and sugar, put it in a bowl. Wash your hand in the new moon. This one is for new moons, for blessing, you understand? Wash your hands and then begin to pray. My hand will receive good things. My hand will receive favor. My hand will receive blessing. At least sugar and salt. There is no one anywhere, whatever country, that you, you don't use or get these two items. My hand will receive favor. My hand will receive blessing. You can also use these two mixture to have your baths as much as you want. But do not use during your flow. As a woman, my, my, I will receive goodness, favor, this, that, that, that. You can also go ahead to use um, Fanta. Yes, the regular Fanta. Do I have Fanta here? The regular Fanta we use. Okay, yes, we do have. This is Fanta. This is what Fanta looks like. It mustn't come in this bottle, this format, this shape. Um, it has a different um, this thing, but just use Fanta, this color. Add it to your uh, inside the bucket of bath water. If you have cinnamon powder, add some cinnamon powder. Add your honey, add your sugar uh, to reach honey. Yes, you can also use honey to have a sweetening bath with sugar. These are some things that you can use for sweetening bath or washing your hand. And then you can also wash your feet with this mixture and say, my feet will take me to greater places. My feet will take me to good places. My feet will bring me, take me to where I'll find favor. I'm just giving you my ways when you're praying this and prayers of blessings and all that. Then again, another thing you should do if you can, the last day of every month, you can give arms. Giving arms doesn't have to do with um, giving it to just some um, beggars, you understand? Just because of, um, if you don't have a spiritual a spirit of discernment, because of what is happening out there. Giving arms could be you blessing someone, that um, woman you see on your street selling something, bless her. You give at the last day of the month and on the at the first day of each month also give. It opens your way, it brings you blessing by the grace of God. Now remember of all these things, both the last day and the first day of the month, you need to hand it over to God Almighty. It is God that perfects and directs the steps of every man. It is God. If God says yes, no one can say no. No one can stop anything in the life of a man. So please do not leave God out of these things, believing that you have done these things so you don't need God. It doesn't work that way. Then again, at the last day of the month, you can prepare honey. Get a little of honey, original honey. Please endeavor to get original honey. Very important. Add some salt, add some pinch of sugar into it. Then you begin to pray. Use your middle finger, the power of your middle finger. This finger is very powerful spiritually. Use it to mix it. You lick it three times. 
and begin to speak blessings, speak goodness into your business, into your life. Um, to be sincere with you, the one I love most is this uh, spiritual bath. Spiritual bath does wonders. All these baths I have mentioned to you, they do wonders. They, 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 they open your way. They bring liberation. They bring goodness. I tell you, by the grace of God, if you incorporate this natural, simple spiritual baths into your daily activities, the beginning of every new month and the last, from that, the last days of the month, your life will never remain the same for good. You will notice significant changes. You can, okay, the video I see, I will link in the uh, comment section. Watch it. That is another two wonderful spiritual exercise you can do that you will testify and smile. So please go ahead with this, um, some of these um, remedies, spiritual recipes I've given for the new month and the last day of the month. Go ahead and use them and to the glory of God, you will smile. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. It's none other person but Gloria Cheesy. Oh, thank you.